this tape uh, is being made in the uh, former old CNR station, which uh, later on became uh, the CP station as well, when or a union station as they called it. Um, what, we are, what I am standing beside is a, a model of the town of Gladstone made out of matchsticks. And it was uh, during the period 1895 to 1905. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of work went into this and it was made by Marianne Wallace. Now a lot of the buildings that are <coughs> seen here no longer exist. Fire has been Gladstone's uh, worst enemy and whole streets have been wiped out in two fires. The uh, one where the present co-op is, uh, the grocery store, going north from there, <coughs> pardon me, going north from there was wiped out in two fires. Uh, one was in a store, started in a store right at the corner and went down as far as where the hotel had been. The hotel had been burnt down in about 1930 uh, over a dispute between the owner of the hotel and another fellow in town. Um, it uh, wiped out the hotel, it wiped out uh, a garage and a store. The only thing that is left standing is the little uh, uh, brick building that uh, Emerson's have at the present time. Now on the other side of the street right down next to the bridge, the um, butcher shop, a Chinese cafe, and Hannah's cafe got wiped out in 1928. Um, so, but that had been, has been rebuilt. Then next to that we had Galloway Brothers store, which was built approximately 1902 to 1906. That was uh, the biggest store between uh, Winnipeg and Vancouver. And, um, it had 33 clerks working it, in it and eight dressmakers as well. Then just to the south of that where the present hotel is was Williams Hardware and uh, it was a going concern. <coughs> now across the tracks is the present Chinese cafe. That cafe is, is one of the oldest buildings in Gladstone. It used to be known as Andrews Hall. Then next to that there used to be a, a, a plow company a, and a, a, a store. And then on the corner where the present bakery is used to be um, the Bank of Montreal. Now across the street from it, south of that was the uh, uh, Revere House which was Stout's garage at one time and they, it got pulled down and a new building put up. Then the next two buildings which were uh, Jessup's uh, photo studio uh, and uh, another uh, store got burnt down. So then going just north across the street, um, just west of the laneway, uh, the buildings from there down to the corner got burnt down. And this is a Presbyterian church right here, or the United Church as we know it nowadays, and directly behind it was the big three-story school that burned. And uh, so that just gives you a little illustration of, of uh, some of the things that happened. This was the CNR station right here, and it is now moved across the river to where the present, and is now the present museum. Here was the flour mill which burned twice. Uh, I could give you an interesting history of that but I won't. I might be sued for libel. Uh, which was uh, later the Masonic Hall and has now been torn down. Uh, over reverting back to this, over here this little building right on the uh, right here on the corner was the uh, Baptist Church and it went through many many changes uh, for its use. When I was a kid it was the Boy Scouts Hall. The picture. Okay. I don't know which ones they were though in those days. Go ahead. Uh, on the island was Magnus Wilson's uh, Brickyard and it was famous for sending bricks all over uh, Western Canada. Uh, 
and uh, particularly up in the Nipua, Minnedosa area and over in the Carberry area. Now here, this building, this gray building right on the corner there was the Mirror Mill and uh, across from it were the elevators. There were, there were different names for the elevators over the years because there were a number of people had uh, private elevator companies. The red barn, I'm just trying to uh, locate where that was. The way over there was the park bridge and uh, th th that's where the uh, uh, farmers from uh, west, northwest of town used to come across that bridge to bring their grain and stuff to the uh, elevators. The town bridge is the one just um, immediately over there and uh, next to the barn the, which was the livery barn for a while. Later on the livery barn was moved over here where this other building is. Oh, that was uh, one of the uh, local farms. Many people uh, uh, had uh, that farm over the course of the years. The latest book that has been written on Gladstone, it was just published this past year, and it is called Gladstone Then and Now. Now, another book that has been written on some of the surrounding territory is Beyond Third Crossing. Now, uh, a third book that has also included information about Gladstone is Golden Memories. These are all books that have a history of Gladstone in them and uh, are very, very interesting reading. I, uh, uh, lo there are lots of Gladstone then and now uh, readily available if you want one. Uh, there is one other book I would just like to bring to your attention and this one is called When the West Was Burn and of course from that you get the area that it is it's Westburn's book.